Assalam o Alaikum wa Rahmatullah. So, Mapte. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Leona. So, my potatoes have all died back. Um, yeah. What I'm going to do here is we're going to start harvesting potatoes. My sister came on a couple of days ago. I told her to put some potatoes out. I forgot to do it. She's coming again tomorrow, so let's harvest a few potatoes for her. These are the potatoes that I grew in wood chips. If you go back to my potatoes planted in wood chips video, you can see how I planted yeah, these. And now let's have a look at the results. Oh, nothing there. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a couple there. That's a nice one. Nice big one. A funny shape, but it's quite nice. Let's pull these stalks out. Oh, a couple of more nice ones. Well, that's a decent one, that. You see how loose this soil, this this mulch is. Um, I mean, all we did was we piled the mulch on, and then we made a small hole, dropped the potato in. Oh, that's a lovely size one, that. Look at that. Wow. So some massive ones there. So, this is what I meant about, I always do well with main crop, but I always seem to struggle with early you know, first early, second early. So that's just off one plant. That's not a bad crop at all, that. I'm quite happy with that. So dreaded couch grass, you can just can never get rid of that, but whenever it pops up, we just pull it out and we'll give that to the chickens and they'll eat it. So let's see what else we've got. See, this is a good thing about planting potatoes and wood chips like this. It's so easy to just get your hands in and move everything about. Harvesting is a is a doddle. There's no digging. Uh, so here's another plant here. So let's give this a little tug. There's a little diddy one there. So we'll have that. There's another one there. These are a bit smaller. Oh, that's a bit better. Good one. Anything else in here? No. Oh, well, there's some white ones here. I don't remember planting white ones, but here we go. Don't remember planting white ones. Must have been a couple of rockets that I had left over that I just stuck in. So nothing else here. That's it. So that's that's not as good. Okay, we'll keep going and we'll harvest this whole bed. So here's another one, we'll pull this one out. Give this one a little tug and see. oh that's a that's a really nice one. Some big potatoes here. Little diddy one. Oh, another good size one. It's just full of worms as well. Look, loads of worms. Look at the size of that one. 
absolutely huge. Some more really nice big ones. They seem to be getting stuck under there. Oh, that's a huge one. That's a monster potato. It's the only one on that plant, but it's, it's a monster potato. So that's, that's some really nice ones here. There's another couple there. Three. And there's another nice one. And there's another nice one. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's an even nice one. There we go. We'll have all that. I'm finding more from that one. See all this fungal life that's building up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I have potatoes everywhere now. Lovely. I think I've gone past the point of just weighing per plant. But. I'm just going to take this whole section out. That's the only one that seems to have its potato plant still alive. Take those grass out. Oh, look at the size of that. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Subhanallah. Look at that. So the variety of potatoes that I've planted here are called Desiree and oh, they're lovely. This is why I grow them. I always grow Desiree and I normally grow King Edwards as well. And normally they come out. I don't I didn't plant any King Edwards this year and I don't and I, I can't think of a reason why I didn't do it. But look at the size of them two. <laughs> massive absolutely huge that side of the bed's already been harvested we harvested that a while ago when the kids wanted chips and you can see the video of the kids harvesting that bed so we'll just have one more look under here see what else we can find and I think that's it that's not bad at all that's not bad at all So it's that time, let's do the weighing and see how much that we've managed to produce from an area that's probably about five foot by about a foot and a half. 7.8 kilos. And 7.8 kilos, let me do you that in old money, just so, for those of you that like pounds. Oops. So 17.2 pounds, just for those, uh, where are those four big potatoes? Let's see if we can get a measurement off them. Oops. They're yeah, the four big ones. Wow. Is that it? So the four big ones. Let's see if it measures them. No, it doesn't. I'll get the small scales, I'll get the kitchen scales and I'll measure these ones. Yeah. But I'm well impressed. That's not bad at all, is it? We'll get the, sm we'll get the kitchen scales and weigh, weigh those uh, big ones individually and see what they come out at. But I'm quite happy with that. I sell our money. Come on. Uh, 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 uh.